What makes humans so amazing? To answer this question, I believe it is necessary to determine what makes humans normal. So, what is normal? For most of life on Earth, there are general needs that must be met in order for survival, which I have narrowed down to shelter, food, and protection. We can now begin to compare the accomplishments of humans to these three basic needs, because what makes humans truly amazing is their ability to go above and beyond what is needed for survival. This leads us to my first example, shelter. Now the acquisition of shelter in and of itself isn't particularly amazing, so we will focus mainly on the creative aspect of shelter, architecture. One of the greatest architectural feats in human history was the construction of Angkor Wat, a massive temple complex located in the Cambodian province of Siem Reap. With an area spanning about 400 square kilometers, Angkor Wat is considered to be the biggest temple complex in the world and is a prime example of human accomplishment and ingenuity. It could not have been an easy task to complete the over 100 different temples occupying the area. In fact, the building of Angkor, which began in the 19th century BCE, wasn't completed until about 1432, 600 years later. However, the main temple, which is made up of more stone than the Great Pyramids, was completed in an astounding 32 years, in time for the burial of one of the great Khmer kings. Before being lost to the jungles of Cambodia, Angkor was at one time a major city home to over a million people during the peak of Khmer civilization and is now one of the world's major tourist destinations. Being so huge and with so many people, vast amounts of resources were needed, which brings us to my second example, food, and the technology needed to produce and maintain it. Food and water are essential for any thriving nation, and so the Khmer people in Angkor needed a way to preserve water during dry seasons and harvest crops year-round. The solution came in the form of a complex irrigation system used to divert river water to dry areas of land. Additionally, this massive hydraulic matrix consisted of several large reservoirs, multiple canals, and hundreds of small water tanks, all of which also served for ceremonial functions and as protection from flooding and monsoons. As time went on, the system became increasingly more sophisticated until eventually most of Siem Reap was made of artificially structured environment. In fact, one of the system's reservoirs was determined to be the earliest man-made structure visible from space. The achievements and effects of these ancient technologies are still felt to this day, as scientists have just discovered that the Siem Reap River, a major river flowing through the province of Siem Reap, is actually an artificial river, diverted from the Puok River in order to aid in the growth of Angkor. Finally, we have my third example, protection. While other animals in the wild have shells, fangs, talons, beaks, spikes, and other forms of natural protection, humans were forced to find other means of defense, using and transforming into weapons by way of calculated fighting styles, also known as martial arts. One dominant style of fighting flourished around the time of Angkor and is considered to be the ancestral fighting style of both modern day Muay Thai and Pradal Sre, among others. This style was known as Bok Tor, lethally comprised of kicks, punches, jabs, and grapples using all parts of the body. Due to their violent and acrobatic nature, styles such as Muay Thai and Bok Tor have recently been exploited by Hollywood in movies such as Ong Bak, The Protector, Boca Tor and Ong Bak Tu. This technique mainly focuses on delivering maximum damage while wasting as little effort and motion as possible. With over 1,000 individual moves, its intricacy and performance are an amazing sight to behold and some would even go as far as to liken it to a deadly dance of sorts. Now that we have examined these three ancient marvels, I hope that you can appreciate the gravity of these achievements, how spectacular they are, and just how much they have influenced life today. Because for a small jungle country roughly the size of Minnesota to have produced all of these wonders is truly amazing.
see the mighty remains of one of the great civilizations of the world. A civilization so sophisticated it can be compared with Rome.